it means a lot for us to, to, to win that trophy and incredibly proud of, of the group, you know, the the guys on the park, the guys off the park, they've been working really, really hard and I think you, you saw the feeling in the, from our guys on the field afterwards just how much the Bledisloe means to us and, and, and one of the reasons it means so much is how much respect we've got for this Wallabies team and it's been a tough series to date and I think for us to play uh, that well over here is something we're, that we're pretty proud of and um, and so uh, and just to the Wallabies I, I know it's a it's a tough it's a tough result for them but I thought we showed, saw a lot of determination and attitude out of them particularly in that third quarter to show that there's something building there that um, is going to guarantee that the next fixtures are always going to be as tough as that one. Yeah, look, it's a pretty happy changing room in there at the moment. Um, just filled her up. But pretty much echoing Aussie's, well, Aussie's, Aussie's. Fozzie's words. Uh, pretty much echoing Fozzie's words. Uh, the trophy is really important to us and we, we care a lot about it. And I'm, I'm just so proud of the, the work we've put in over the last five or six weeks building up to this moment. Um, that's what it's all about. And, you know, I just feel like we've improved every single week and I'm really excited about where this group can go. Yeah, Flood, just wrap up some words, please, for you, mate. We'll take questions, thanks. Oh, no, I just back up um, what Fozzie and Sam said. I thought, um, you know, we played really clinically well in the first first half and, um, yeah, we, um, we're really happy with the performance. Um, we're under a lot of pressure and um, I thought the boys really came through tonight and, like Fozzie said, the wider group that we're playing tonight worked their butts off this week to prepare this team and they, they deserve another special mention. Thanks everyone for the questions, thank you. Ian, the emphatic today, any areas of the game that uh, still need to work on? Yeah, look, uh, every coach is going to say there's a few areas to work on in there, like it's, um, you know, we'll, we'll go away and analyse it. I think the, you know, the third quarter, we, we got caught a little bit early so you know the the Wallabies certainly came out of the shed a little bit stronger and motivated than we do and we did and I think we saw that in, in Eden Park too where we in that last quarter where we we took the the foot off the pedal so you know we've got to address that but um you know rather than rather than talk about any areas of concern I, I just I just thought the things that worked well for us was our game management particularly I thought you saw a patient all black performance in the first half and you know, sometimes we're guilty of overplaying situations, but with the wet and and the way the game went, that's probably the year that I was most proud of. Thank you, Barrett. Rich and I might pretty well. Uh, do you think that was their best performance together? Yeah, look, I, I'm not sure I'd say that, but I, I thought they played really, really well together. And I know a lot's made out of that, but there's there's also a few numbers and jerseys in between those guys that um, are a key part of that group as well. But you know, I thought Richie, um, you know, it's probably one of the best game management games I've seen him play for us for a while. And, you know, I think Bodie's a class player and whether he's 10 or 15, he, you know, it was pretty cool to see him step in at 10 and do a chip kick for, for Richie to score, you know. So the fact is that they, they got, we've got two good options there. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, after the flight, but the type of after Wellington, how satisfying is it? Oh look look it's very satisfying. Like I said at the start and it's you know, I know I mean we're we're ecstatic and they'll be dejected and, and that's that's test level, that's test rugby, isn't it? But you know, it's it's a mark of respect and I keep saying it is that you know we we, we saw in Wellington a, a really, really tough Wallaby team and, and we saw that at Eden Park too and, and, and we saw it again today but that probably wasn't long enough for their liking and we were able to subdue it when we needed to. So, um, you know, it's a, the only reason you really enjoy winning trophies like this is because you, you've got a fear factor for the opposition and, and we legitimately have that. So to come out the other side, we, we're just delighted. Sam, what kind of response do you expect next week in the Wallabies? Uh, look, they're a tough side, and um, you know, like Fozzie said, there was areas of their game that they'll be happy with, and there'll be some areas that they're not. So, um, you know, one thing I've always admired about the Aussies is the way they pick themselves up and they'll turn up 
again next week with a, a similar confidence um, and attitude. So, look, we're not. <coughs> we'll literally. We'll really enjoy tonight. We'll um, just enjoy the moment and all the hard work that's gone into to getting us here. And then, um, you know, decompress tomorrow and, and we go again for next week. But um, yeah, looks like, like I said at the start, I'm pretty excited about where this team can go because I think we've improved uh, steadily every week. John, what uh, did you see in the box when uh, you saw Carl uh, coming back inside with three players <laughs> outside? <laughs> when Carl scored his try. Oh, yeah. today, what you and I thought? <laughs> no, I thought that was a lovely step. Yeah, he's, been doing, <laughs> he's been doing a bit of week, so it was, but yeah, it's good to see that come off. Plum, Plum was very excited because he'd been working on his step. Well, I was less excited. Yeah, the question was big. So, um, do you expect all these to return to James O'Connor next, next, next week? Oh, look, I've got no idea. But I'm assuming Reens is coming in. You can ask him that. But um, I, I don't know the state of his injury. Sorry. But, um, you know, like they, they've got some young players out there. I mean, we, we've we've introduced a number of young players for us, and that, so have they. And I think that's, in, in some ways, it's an exciting part of the series, isn't it? There's been a number of new names into Bledisloe rugby now, and so hopefully it's the start of a, of a great rivalry. And um, But, um, you know, it's how, it's how people respond. We've got to respond from, from a victory, and we've got to make sure we get our feet on the ground really quick, because, you know, Sun Corp has always been a great challenge up there, and and now we've got another trophy to focus on, and that's the the rugby championship. Uh, no, it's for the Tri Nation. Sorry, it changes every week, so it's um it's a way to get our head head in that space. But right now, we're going to have a bit of time off.